you're Stephen Covey, this is this is figuring out the urgent from the important. So one of the things that's been really useful in helping make my business really drive forward is figuring out what's urgent, what's important. And kind of that rule of fun, you know that awful mug that you sometimes see that says your emergency is not mine or whatever the heck it is. But basically, what's the important stuff that's on somebody else's agenda? Now, you might be courteous and decide to do that, but typically that's not going to drive your business forward. That's on someone else's agenda. What when you're particularly in the kind of early stage of setting up your business and you've got like so much stuff flying at you sideways and you know and you're kind of in this massive washing machine of how does this stuff work and what am i learning and da 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 you'll often do the urgent stuff because they're so obvious they're shouting at you normally someone else is shouting at you you know whether it's tenants or investors or estate agents or whatever or lawyers and buyers sellers whatever the heck it is um, what is really critical for you guys to drive your business forward is to figure out the urgent and the important. The important is the quiet stuff. Like maybe, like the what I do mentoring, so I'll be spotting stuff like that with my guys, but maybe somebody close to you will be saying, hey, you should really think about doing this, because in the long run this will be really useful for you. But usually it doesn't shout or scream or even raise its voice. But it's the stuff that if you don't do now, in six months time, um, whatever it is won't come to fruition. So for me, a great example is I got a whole bunch of stuff to do. Of course I do. I'm running a business with, you know, tons of properties and blah, blah, blah. But if I don't focus on uh, resuscitating planning permission for three flats now, I won't make a hundred grand in six months time. No one's shouting at me to do it at all. They're shouting at me to do, I don't know, well, I just had the tiler in to pick up the key to um, tile a bathroom, da, 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 which is all good stuff. Um, but nobody's saying, Suze, why don't you focus on this? Or, uh, um, Suze, why don't you focus on refinancing some of your properties? Why don't you focus on which property you're paying off next? Why don't you pay that debt down now? Etc. Etc. All, uh, all the quiet, and I'm going to be buying commercial property quite soon, uh, but I've got nothing kicking me to make it happen. So, all the, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to write down a list of the 10 key important things that will drive my business forward that kind of no one's given me grief for. And then the urgent, yes, it's important, yes, but you've got to live with a level of comfort of not chaos, but the fact that someone else's urgent is not necessarily your important. So um, I know it sounds awful, but we've got somebody, I own the freehold, and uh, for some crazy reason, they've gone and got planning in the garden. Now, for them, that's incredibly important, and I appreciate that, but for me, it's not, because I'm not particularly keen on having um, a garden with a new house yeah. in. So... Um, you got to live with some noise because, you know, that's not something that's going to be driving my business forward and it's not a choice I've made. So um, my question is, do I need to react to that kind of thing? And the answer is, no, you don't. So be comfortable about identifying what's urgent, what's important, and then drive at least, do one or two. If you're doing three things in a day, make sure at least one of them is important, which drives your business forward. Julie's just arrived. The kettle's just boiled. It's time for tea. See ya.